chakra clearing. Pretty. Archangel Metatron. Call upon your, call upon me to clear and open your chakras. What does this girl always tell you to do? Okay. Um, using a sacred geometric shapes. Okay. I was thinking about Metatron. Metatron is the kind of like the the archangel of the chakra system. And I remember that he is always talking about geometric shapes, and you're like, what? Geometric shapes. But um so the only way I can describe this, what this means, and this is going on to like way too many videos. I got it. I got to get to my unwinding um, scenario. But um, you think of a triangle, like I don't know if you get like this, but I think of it like a triangle or an octagon shape, and that catches my eye. Right, triangle. Even as a teacher, I would always like you had to teach about square and a circle, and that was boring. But when we got to the octagon. To me or the triangle too triangle so geometric shapes bring more geometric shapes into your life um uh, but earrings drawing shapes if you just like sit and draw some shapes out it does something it triggers something in your third eye um so metatron is all also talking about your chakras so, like, visualizing your chakras, meditation, listening to Jason Stevenson meditation, chakra meditation, music. Um, all the chakras need to be stimulated. All the chakras need to be balanced. When one of them is out of balance, that's when we have the problems. That's why when I have um, migraines and headaches, I try not to take the Advil right away. Um, I do, you know, little massages on my hand that DC taught me. I do little massages like that. I try to think about what do I have in this noggin that I need to get out. Um, am I angry or upset with somebody and I didn't tell them why? Um, I didn't express it. Or am I just upset with myself about something and I need to write it down? Um, so that's I try to go through that, or do I just need to visualize crystal white light or gold or silver around my head, or look at my paintings that are white or gold, um, and usually, or I watch a video that's for the crown chakra, and that helps me, and it might help you. Okay. I'm going to do one more, but in a different deck. And then I am out of here. This will probably take 20 years to upload. So I'm probably going to just upload one tonight for CV. Because otherwise I won't be able to sleep. Anyhow, um, messages for open and receptive messages. Two cards for my supercalifragilist subs. Any messages, angels and archangels? What messages do you have for the beautiful subs that are trying to find answers? Definitely, they need to believe in themselves. They need to believe in their gifts. And you know what? It's scary. Sometimes it's scary when you find out that you are getting more psychic or you are getting different gifts that you're not comfortable with. And that could be a little scary. So what people do is they shut it down. Or they just second-guess themselves. Oh, I'm imagining things. You know how many years I told myself I was a nut job? <laughs> but I was very used to being a nut job because I came from a big family and everybody used to call each other names, especially the youngest in the family. How was that fair? Okay, that's another video. That's another 70 videos. Okay. All right, family dynamics. All right. What do the angels have to tell us? Ooh, 
visualize success. Look at her wings. They're like a bluish lavender. Is her hair purple? Anyway, um, visualize success, meaning manifest success. We have to visualize at first exactly where you want to see yourself. Where do you want to be? Okay, see yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. There's some people out there want to start businesses like CV, beautiful work, CV, Bella Butterfly, business number 750, okay, job number 60. All right, anyhow, every people out there hustling, trying to, you know, be mover, movers and shakers, or you're just sitting there paralyzed thinking, I don't know how I'm going to do all this. I'm overwhelmed. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough resources. The angels are saying, visualize more. Visualize success. Visualize that you already have it. Okay? I once um, sat, you guys know the story if you know me, if you've been to, if you're a part of the Mystic Brady Bunch. Um, and the way you be part of the Mystic Brady Bunch, you just have to watch my videos. You don't even have to watch a thousand. Okay? You don't even have to watch a hundred. But you can watch ten. Anyhow, um, I sat down. I think it was about, it was before I was divorced. Um, and I, I was a teacher, of course, you know, a hundred years. Um, and a mother. And I was making some artwork, and I was always interested in art. I was always doing things in, with art, abstract art, mixed media. And I just said to myself, I, I wish that I could do this more of a, as a job, but not just, you know, make art, be in an art gallery, and be this famous rich artist. I wanted to make artwork that people had in their hand, and they were like, Oh my gosh, when I held that artwork or I put it on the wall, I could feel better. I could feel the healing energy. And guess what? That happened. That has happened. Okay? I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I visualized and wrote down affirmation after affirmation. And a lot of times you say, well, it's not happening. It's just not happening. You know how many times I wrote down, I am so happy and grateful. I am 135 to 144 pounds, size 7, 8. And my shirt is a size medium. My pants are size 7, 8. I'm so happy and grateful. I feel very fit. Okay? I can't say that that's happened. Okay? But you know what? So many other things have that is really beautiful and great. And so sometimes you have to stop doing the affirmations on something and just start thinking about something else. And, and then sometimes you just totally give it to God and say, I wrote it down. I don't really want to write it down anymore. I thought about it. And I just want to be. And just be in the moment. Because we can't live too much in, you know, the future. The future, okay. I'll be happy then. I'll, hap I'll be happy if. Just Look around, see what you love, love in your in your life. Even if it's just your pets, even if it's just your friend down the street, even if it's just some uh, nagging worker in Michaels that for some reason needs to be up your ass because they think you're gonna uh, steal a huge three foot wine glass. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so. See yourself doing well in this situation. Visualize success. Have faith and in a positive outcome. Yeah, that's the secret. You have to have faith that a positive outcome is going to ha happen. Release. Okay, so release. Work with Archangel Michael. I love Archangel Michael. He's so protective. Um, to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. 
Yeah. So there is something that you have to release. Look at the face of this angel. She might be somebody that you already have seen before. Release what is no longer useful in your life. And ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, please help me to release this toxic relationship, this toxic addiction, this um, negative energy, this negative thinking, or whatever it is, or this evil people around me, or, you know, whatever it is you might be picking up on um, or have, and ask them. Maybe you have an annoying co-worker that's always hard on you. Ask Archangel for protection. Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is the biggest protector. Okay. And one more for good luck. Shield yourself. So somebody needs protection, which is what I was just talking about. Shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh, fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. Okay. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies. Could be just people around you acting like fearful and like, oh, we're going to have another, you know, horrible thing like COVID and it's going to even be worse than COVID. And you know what? You can drive yourself crazy with that, or it could just be a negative family member, or it could be a negative co-worker, like I said, or just in general, social media is super negative, okay? I should know. I'm on it. All right. <laughs> anyway, protect yourself from harsh, fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing white light surrounding you. Okay, so... The healing light doesn't have to be white. It could be gold, silver, whatever color you like. But visualize that it starts up in the sky, comes down, hits you on the crown chakra. See it. Close your eyes, see it. And then see it come a cocoon around you, your body, right? Feel like it's angels surrounding you, God surrounding you, your person, your loved one from heaven, because they always are surrounding you. And then after you see it surrounding you, visualize that it's surrounding your house or your apartment or your condo, wherever you live. Visualize that light coming from the sky or a whole bunch of angels coming through the sky However you visualize it, it, it'll be right for you, okay? You know what I think of? And this is why I use it so much. Glitter, okay? ASMR. Okay. Glitter. White glitter. Gold glitter. I, sometimes I have to make a painting... Like when I made um, Zorro, the Pegasus, I knew it had to be white and gold glitter. First I was thinking of silver, but then something told me no. Um, so the glitter is very important to me because it's like the white light that I'm visualizing since I'm a little kid. When I would see like sun coming through the window and it would grab onto dust, um, I would ask everybody, do you see that? And sometimes they would see like a little bit. But it was actually, I was seeing orbs, and I was getting ready to be get protected because something was going to happen. Um, that's another story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, picture the white light. I hope this helped people. I want to say thank you so much to Crystal Visions. That's a song. Crystal Vision? Uh -huh. I can't think of it. Anyway, namaste, everybody. My face is starting to fall. Okay. I need a facelift. I, well, because my makeup, I didn't, did I put on, oh, I didn't put skin makeup on. That's why you could see all this bad stuff. Anyhow, I got to go take my makeup off, otherwise Shanann's going to yell at me. Anyway, namaste, everybody. <laughs>